Okay, so I'm going to do a video, I think a little bit more on attachments and why getting rid of attachments is so important. Right now, a lot of the attachments that most people have, that's how they identify who they are. So they're your career, you're a mother, you're a daughter, you're an employee, your, your, your fill in the blanks. And all of those things are, you're attached to them. And that is how you identify yourself. And so in order to get back to get out of amnesia, you're going to have to unattach from all of that, including I'm white, I'm female, I'm American, I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm an ex-wife. I was an employee. You see all those things? And find a way to take all of those attachments away altogether and find out who you really are without all of the attachments. So who you are is not, I am not white, female, mother, daughter. I'm not, that's not me. That's just a role that I'm playing. So in the process of getting rid of all those attachments is the way that you can find out who you really are for yourself okay so and also vibrationally you need to find out who you really are without all those attachments and you want to if you're going to the fifth dimension and you don't want those attachments because you can't really go to the fifth dimension while you're attached to other things because that would be like uh, controlling those other beings so uh you that's the reason why i have all these conversations all these videos about remember it's a game remember it's a game remember that you're in a game because when you look at it from that perspective and you understand that all those i am fill in the blanks are just a role that you're playing and that's not who you really are then you can let them go and when you can let them go then you can get to the next frequency easier because you cannot take any of those attachments with you to the fifth dimension because that would be controlling some other being and in the fifth dimension we don't do that you don't control other beings so you would uh, understand that when you get to a certain dimension then you can step outside of time space you can have access to any and all beings that have ever been okay but you don't want to take those beans with you. You want to see them. You want to go the process with them. And they may be with you at that speed, your family, your friends, your pet. But ultimately is the knowing that everybody is just playing a role. And eventually everyone will be um, together and know who each other is who everybody is again, right? But you don't want to be attached to any one to the point where you're trying to force them to go to a frequency that they're not ready to go to yet. And if you're attached to them, one of two things, well, there's only one thing that will happen. If you're attached to them, then you can't get to fifth dimension. So you will be attached to them and you will both stay in a lower frequency somewhere. It is only in the letting go of that attachment and that understanding that we are all attached. That your attachment to your children or your parents or your soulmate is an illusion. That that attachment is no stronger than it is with the cashier down at the, at the bank. It's the same exact connection. We are all a part of the one, you see. So in order to go to unity consciousness, you have to take away those fake attachments, those illusions of attachments to who you are and to who they are so that you can embrace the unity consciousness that we are all a part of the all that is. As long as there are those attachments that I'm a mother, you're my child, or I'm... Um, the employee and you're the employer or whatever attachments it is, then you cannot um, get to unity consciousness where we're all a part of the all that is and we're all equal. There will always be 
those belief systems in place with those attachments. So that is the reason why you unattach from uh, people and the jobs and the animals, you see. You have to unattach from all of those in order to get to unity consciousness to be one with everything again. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. All right, guys. Well, that's it. And uh, huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.